Is telepathy real? The science behind mind reading. Hello and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and technology. In today's video, we are going to talk about telepathy, the ability to communicate with each other using only our minds. Is telepathy real or just a fantasy? How does it work and what does science say about it? Let's find out. Telepathy is a term that comes from the Greek words tele, meaning distant, and pathia, meaning feeling. It refers to the exchange of information between two or more minds without using any of the five senses or physical interactions. For example, imagine you could send a message to your friend across the room just by thinking about it, or you could read someone's thoughts without them saying anything. That would be telepathy. But is telepathy possible? Many people believe in telepathy and claim to have experienced it in some form, such as having a gut feeling about someone, knowing what someone is going to say before they say it, or having a dream that comes true. However, there is no conclusive scientific evidence that telepathy exists, and most scientists consider it to be a pseudoscience, meaning a false or unscientific claim. In fact, many studies that have tried to test telepathy have failed to produce any consistent or replicable results, and some have been exposed as fraudulent or biased. However, this does not mean that telepathy is impossible. Some researchers have proposed that telepathy could be explained by natural phenomena, such as brain waves, hormones, or quantum physics. Let's take a look at some of these theories and experiments. One of the most popular theories of telepathy is based on the concept of mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are brain cells that fire both when we perform an action and when we observe someone else performing the same action. For example, when we see someone smile, our mirror neurons make us smile too. This is thought to be the basis of empathy, imitation, and social learning. Some scientists have suggested that mirror neurons could also enable us to read other people's minds by mirroring their brain activity and emotions. In fact, some studies have shown that the hormone oxytocin, which is involved in trust and bonding, can enhance our ability to interpret subtle social cues and facial expressions. But can mirror neurons work over long distances? Some researchers have tried to answer this question by using a technique called brain-to-brain -brain interface, or BBI. A BBI is a system that allows for direct transmission of brain activity between two individuals using a computer and a device that can stimulate the brain. For example, in 2014, a team of scientists from Spain and India conducted an experiment in which they claimed to have achieved the first successful BBI over the Internet. They used a device called Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, or TMS, which can deliver magnetic pulses to specific regions of the brain and induce electrical currents. They asked one person in India to think of the words, Ola, or, Chao, and then sent the corresponding brain signals to another person in Spain, who received them as flashes of light in their vision. The receiver was able to correctly identify the words in 70% of the cases. However, this experiment was not without criticism. Some experts pointed out that the method was not very reliable, the sample size was too small, and the results were not peer-reviewed. Moreover, some argued that this was not really telepathy, but rather a form of artificial communication that required external devices and signals. In other words, this was not mind-reading, but rather mind-writing. Another theory of telepathy is based on the idea of quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon in which two or more particles, such as electrons or photons, become linked in such a way that their states are correlated, even when they are separated by large distances. For example, if two entangled particles have opposite spins, and one of them is measured to be spinning up, the other one will instantly be spinning down, no matter how far apart they are. This is sometimes called, spooky action at a distance, and it seems to violate the laws of classical physics and causality. Some scientists have speculated that quantum entanglement could also occur between brain cells, and that this could explain telepathy. For example, in 2019, a team of researchers from China and the US reported that they had achieved the first quantum entanglement of 18 qubits, or quantum bits, which are the basic units of quantum information. They suggested that this could pave the way for quantum brain networks, or QBNs, which could enable quantum communication between multiple brains. They also proposed that QBNs could be the basis of collective consciousness, or the shared awareness and identity of a group of individuals. However, this theory is also very controversial and speculative. There is no evidence that quantum entanglement can occur in biological systems, let alone in complex and noisy environments like the brain. Moreover, 
There is no clear mechanism of how quantum entanglement could translate into meaningful information or consciousness. In fact, some physicists have argued that quantum entanglement is not a form of communication at all, but rather a correlation that does not carry any information or causation. So, what can we conclude from all this? Well, the science of telepathy is still very much in its infancy, and there is no definitive answer to whether telepathy is real or not. However, we can say that telepathy is not a supernatural or paranormal phenomenon, but rather a natural and scientific one, that could be explained by the laws of physics and biology. However, we still need more rigorous and reliable experiments and evidence to prove or disprove the existence and mechanisms of telepathy. Until then, we can only rely on our imagination and curiosity to explore the possibilities and limits of our minds. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more science and technology videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below and share your thoughts and experiences on telepathy. Do you believe in telepathy? Have you ever had a telepathic experience? How do you think telepathy works? We would love to hear from you. See you next time on Science Telly.